like a tribe's heritage. They might be oral, but at the same time, they like to troll around. So the next story is going to be about characters. They might be trolls who have to happen to live in a tribe. But you have to follow me on these characters because there are so many and I would need your help. So as all the stories start, once upon a time, there was a group of 10 women the youngest was 15. The oldest was 115. So if you did the math, the age difference between all of them was 10 years. I'm not going to go through all of them. You need to do that. And I will tell you who they are. The first one was married with kids. The other one was married with no kids. One was divorced. The other one was a single mom. The other one was a widow. The others were the youngest, who just got married. Then there was the force, who doesn't want to get married. Then there was the confused soul. Then for the last two, do you still count? OK, there are so many. So for the last two, they happen to be the oldest sisters. So they were more of like, um, old. <laughs> so what happened here is the youngest of them, she just got married about two months ago. So she wanted to invite them to come to her house. She just wanted to establish a new family with her friends. So she invited them. They all came, prepared themselves with a Moroccan feast. Each brought fruits, vegetables, everything that you could imagine. Then they started cooking, but then they split in four groups. On your left, in the kitchen, you will find the married with kids and the one that was married with no kids. You need to remember this. I'm not going to repeat it anytime. <laughs> then, at the right of the room, there was the divorced, the single mom, and the widow. In the middle of the room, there was the youngest, who just got married. She's the host. Then there was the force. Do you know who's the force? She the one, she's the one that doesn't want to get married, OK? Then there was the confused soul. I know that you are confused now as me, so it's fine. <laughs> then at the back, there was the two old hags, what we like to call them. You know, they were old. So each section was occupied. But then the old ladies, they were too old to work. So they just sat there in the back, having their tea and enjoying the drama. So on the left side, who was there? OK, good, lovely. So the married one started talking, and she said, you know, I feel so happy for our house to just get married. And it's really hard to establish a family when you are still a kid yourself. She's just like 15. Who do you think she's supposed to be? Don't you agree? Then the other one said, the one who didn't, who didn't have kids, well, establishing a family is really interesting, and she might be capable of doing that. But having kids that are like six or seven and having a husband that doesn't work all the time, it's really hard. How is your kids and your husband doing, by the way? Then she replied back, they are doing great. How is your husband? I've heard that he had been depressed from all the trying because his magic doesn't work anymore. <laughs> and then as the one who was married with no kids. She was cutting the onions. And you know, when you cut the onions, you cry. So the words cut deep in her, so she just kept on crying and cut the onions well. The onions are really bad. <laughs> then on the left side of the room, how do, who was there on the, on the right side? I'm sorry, I'm confused now. <laughs> there was the divorced, the widow, and the single mother. Then the divorce was taken over the conversation. She said, Oh, dears, the other day, I was passing by this merchant, and he couldn't take his eyes off me. I don't know what happened. I just, my beauty is timeless. <laughs> then the single mom said, I mean, 
Yeah, but time hasn't been by your side because as I still remember that you got married and divorced because of your beauty, isn't it? Then she replied back to her, being beautiful is not bad, but especially when you are ugly and you cannot see it with your own eyes, that's probably bad, don't you think? Then the divorced one said, can you just please stop it? You are fake, she's ugly, everybody knows that. Focus on the vegetables. <laughs> then in the middle of the room, there was the youngest, the force, who didn't want to get married, then the confused soul. So the force started talking, and she said, ah, you are my friend, and I really love you, and I support you 100% to whatever that you did. But this marriage is too early for you. You are really, like, young. And you know, you need to be always there for the man, and that's not my cup of tea, because the man needs to be my woman. Don't you think? And then the beautiful young house, she replied, thank you, dear friend, for your input. I believe that... Being married is really hard to get, and nobody has that to their credit, to your credit. But with your input, you did a great job. And you being the force you are, you come to me at night and you cry. And I, there, I'm now always there to help you. And don't you think that's a little bit fake from your side? Because I got married because I wanted to show the man what I'm capable of. I'm not going to be cutting onions for him and cooking for him. He's going to bring the vegetables and he's going to cook it. And I will raise my children the way I want to raise them, not the way he wants me to. I'm not his woman. We are all equal. Then the confused one asked, Hello, girls. Um, what am I going to do with these vegetables because I'm lost in here? <laughs> they ignored her. And in the back of the room, there were the two old ladies. They were just sipping their tea and enjoying the drama. Then one of them said to the other, you look, sister, this is the lives we've lived and the lives we didn't live because we didn't want to marry. That's our choice. But we need to do something about these fake souls in here. They are all fake. Then they asked, when is this food is going to be ready? We are hungry. Then the host said, everything is going to be ready in a matter of time. Then the divorce whispered these little hacks. Oh, did you say something to you? No, 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 no. God bless you both. You're really lovely there with your tea. And I enjoy you both. Then they kept on being fake. The meal was served. They all gathered around the table. Each was eaten. And then the two old ladies, they started hearing the others saying, Oh, I love your vegetables. You look so great. From where did you get that dress? You're wonderful. You will be a great mother. And then they exploded. She invited you to her house. You are being fake to her. Don't you know, like, what are you doing? Can you just explain yourselves to yourselves? You who's bragging about your marriage and about your kids, don't you know that your husband is cheating on you? And you who thinks that you are Mrs. Beauty, nobody likes you. You're not going to be the buddy that everybody's going to fantasize about. You should respect yourself. Being divorced is nothing. You should work on being the adult you are. And you, Miss Force, you think that you don't want to get married? Well, listen, we didn't get married either, but we wanted the man to appreciate us. We didn't find him, but embrace that. You have the chance to do so. And as for the rest of you, being married with no kids, it's not a shame. Being a single mother and ugly, that's not a shame. Being, I don't know, a confused soul, the whole time will show you the way. And as for you, our lovely host, you've been so kind to us and to them. You are kind. Keep on being kind. They are fake, but they are your friends. And let us tell you this. Dnia binti, ma hiya bzi l-luja wala bzi l-bdn. L-khlaq, wala qalb al-biyad, wali tu wala ashra. They opened up her eyes, and then she said, I feel sorry for them, because it's not their problem, it's the age they live in. Each of them has to be fake to me, because I sort of give them a life. I invite them to my house, and they eat for free. But at the same time, I want them to be much more than what they are. And if I'm going to bring you back to what the two old hags said, who understood that? OK, great. Then I have to do the translation myself, which is really more of <clears throat> OK, they said, oh, daughter, life is not the beauty of the face or the body, manners and a good heart. 
is what will keep you going and stay the test of time. And actually, being fake doesn't get you places, but being yourself and your true self can make you stand the test of time, and you will be a limited edition, which is really hard to get. And thank you.